Hi everyone, my name is Akurede Adenike. You are welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time of you checking on my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more videos. In today's video, I want to make wrap peplum top. But I'm making the sewing today. In my previous video, I've make I've made the cotton, which I'll put the link in the box below so that for you to understand what I'm making. So now, I've already cut the lining out, both the part, the back part, back part and the front part of it. Here is the front part, this is the lining. And here is the back, this is the lining for it too. The peplum, the lining for it. And the sleeve, the basic sleeve, the lining for it. So let's get to it. Let me start from the back. Here is the back part of the upper part. So the lining for it, here is it. I'm going to place the lining on the right side of the fabric like this, like this. And I will start, I will start the, the sewing from here. From here now, I will start. I will sew it from here to this place. On the front side too, I'm going to place it like this. Then I'm going to place the lining on the right side of it. So I'm going to sew this place from the shoulder down to this place now. Hope you can see me very well. From the shoulder here down to this place. I'll come and show you. Now, I've sewed the fabric and the lining together. Both the back and the front. You know, two for the front and one for the back part of the upper part. So I've saw it, here is it. You now notch this place, the neck, the back neck, like this. Notch it with a quarter of an inch. Don't let it touch the sewing at all. So you now open it up like this. We're now going to top stitch it from here to this place. So this is the front part of it. I've saw it, open it up, top stitch from here to this place. I'll do the same thing on the second one of the front part. Now I've done the top stitching, I've finished it. Here is it. I'll now go and give it nice ironing, both the front and the back part. Now I've ironed it out. See the look, very nice. This is the back and this is the front both the first first one and the second one of the front now i'll go i'll now turn it like this again to sew the side because i'm going to sew the lining to the fabric on the side here is it i'm going to sew this place now here is the side, the both side for the back side. I'm going to sew it like this. Sew it like this with the lining, like this with the lining. Then the side of this one too. Sew it with the lining. Both first and the second one. Sew it with the lining. Now I've sewed the side. This this is the front, but. The first and the second one have sold the sides. So this is the back. I've sold the side and I've turned it, I've ironed it. So I'll now go and sew the shoulder. I'll go and join it at the shoulder. Place this one like this. Make sure the right side face the right side of the fabric like this. The right side of the fabric face each other like this. So yeah, this one to uh, place it like this. Make sure it face each other. I mean the right side of the fabric. So I'll now go and sew the shoulder. I'll sew it like this. Open it up like this. This one, open it up like, like this. And this one to open it up. Then make sure this place, this joint, place it on each other like this. 
you can go and sew it straight like this sew it from here to here or you do it like this hold this one like this hold it like this then you will open the back side up like this put it inside this is another method of joining the shoulder put it inside like this then you close it up like this hope you can see me very well this is the second line after closing it up like this make sure it plays very well on each other so you now go and stitch it from the shoulder down to this place so i'll do the same thing on the second shoulder i'll come and show you when i finish sewing it i finished sewing the shoulder i finished joining it together note always trim all the excess fabric and excess thread to make your job neat you know to make your sewing neat always trim all the excess so i finished sewing it with the width half inch the shoulder i finished sewing it with the half inch i'll not turn it to the right side here is it here is the back so here is the front now i want to sew the dart to get my dart i'm going to use the measurement of my nipple to nipple to get my dart so well, let me this is the back i fold the back into two to get my dart so my nipple to nipple measurement is seven inches i'll divide it into two that will give me 3.5 3 point that 3.5 i will now add it with half inch that will give me four from the shoulder here now i'll measure 12 inches 12 inches because my breast point point is 10 inches i'll now add two to it that will give me 12 inches from my shoulder. But if your breast point is more than 10, just add 2 inches to it. That is where your dart will start from. So from this center now, I will measure that 4 inches. Now I told you my, my nipple to nipple measurement is 7 inches. I divided it into 2. That is 3.5. Plus half inch seam allowance. That will give me four inches that's why i measured four inches now i'll now i'll now join it together with a straight line so i'll do the same thing on the both side of the back part here i'll do the same thing here measure 12 inches from your shoulder then from this center measure four inches half of my nipple to nipple measurement Whatever your home is, you just have you just have to divide it into two, then add half inch same allowance to it. On the front side, now now I'll just fold it like this to get my front that to place it on it. Now I've already measured the back that out. I'll just place it like this make sure this place is on each other very well make sure so for you to get your measurement right and make sure you get your measurement right before measuring your fabric and before cutting like white sewing so i'll just do it like this open it like this trace Make sure you get your measurement right to here too. I'll just do it like this. Or in another method. If you don't understand this way now, just do it like this. Place your back, then place your front of it to get your front that. 
set it very well like this. If you don't understand the first method, I'm just using the second method to make you as a beginner understand what I'm doing very well. Make sure it's set very well. Then we now use pain. Use pain to set it, to hold it, to avoid it from shaking. Make sure you hold the center too. Yeah. Make sure you hold it with the pen. This side too. This side too. Hold it with the pen. You now fold it into two like this to get your front start. If this is the easiest way, to, way for you, you can use this method. Then you now measure that 12 inches, 12 inches from your shoulder, mark it, then from the center 4 inches, to here to the bottom here, 4 inches, I will do the same thing on the, both si on the second side of the front too, that was how to get the that very easy and simple so then if i want to sew let me remove the paint first to sew it now to sew the dot let me use back as an example you just fold it like this on that line fold it into two like this if you are a beginner, you can measure it. Measure after. So after folding, we just measure from here now. Measure half inch. Make sure you get your measurement right. Then now, if you are a beginner, you can do what I'm doing. You will now mark it like this. So I will do the same thing on the second side. Then. On the front too. I'll do it on the both side of the front too. You now go and sew on this line. That is your dart. When I finish sewing, I'll come and show you. I've sewed the dart now. This is the back part. I've sewed the dart. And these are the front parts. I've sewed the dart too. Here is it. I'll now put it aside. I'll now sew the bit. You know, in my previous video, I said this one is for inner belt and this one is for outside belt i have two two of it i'll go and sew it to sew this one now i'll just fold it into two like this start from this edge sew it with half half inch from here now from here i'll close up this place sew it with half inch down to this place so I'll leave this place open because if I want to turn it to the right side, I'll use that, that side to turn it out. The inner belt, I'll just fold it like this, fold this side, fold this side again with half inch, both sides, I'll fold it like this. Hope you can see it very well. Fold it like this and this side to fold it like this. I'll not fold it again like this. I'll just go and sew it like this. Now I finished sewing the belts. This is for the outside belt. Then this is the inner belt, the two, like a rope. So this one now, I'll turn it out to the right side because I sew it on the wrong side with half inch. So I just bring it out. So I finished ironing the belt. So to attach it to the body now. So make sure you place your top as you want it to look like. Then you now set your belt before sewing it to it for you not to make any mistakes. Here now, I want my wrap to be on this side. So this one will, I will attach it, this belt now. 
I will attach it to this place. So I'll pin it for me not to make a mistake. So the second one will be on this side. I'll sew it to the back like this. But before sewing, make sure you leave half an half inch from the bottom to this place before you place your belt. So that half that half inch will be for the peplum. You can even make it one inch. So I'll pin it up. Pin it up like this. So I'll leave it. So I'll just open it up like this. So the inner belt I will attach it the one to this one. You can you can attach it in the middle like this or you put it you let it be on this side. Just don't let it don't attach it on the bottom. Just leave before you attach any belt, leave half inch from the bottom here now. Measure half inch or one because you are going to attach peplum to it. So, so let me check my settings because I don't want to make a mistake. So here is the settings of the belt now. This one, this inner belt for this side will be on top of this, not at the back. To make it inside inside this one now this one i'll just go and sew it like this i'll open it up like this place this one like this then i will close it up like this and stitch this place so i'm going to use the same method for this for this big bed on this side too. I'm going to use the same method. Open it up like this. I'll place it like this. This one like this on the fabric. Then I'll open the lining up like this. Place it like this. And I'll go and sew it like this. Here too. This second big bed. I'll just go this is the back then I'll place it like this I'll sew it when I finish sewing it I'll come and show you so make sure you place your top very well as you want it before you set your belt and sew it down so as you can see now I've joined the belt here is it I've joined this one this one too I've joined it and this one this henna tiny belt I've joined it but I want to quickly explain one thing about the second one here this is the last belt which is the big one of the big belts this place now you know I told you you should me measure half inch before you join your belt to your top and this belt is bigger than this this place you can just fold it like this fold it like this to make it to make that space to contain it you can just fold it like this fold it like this to make this place contain this belt because you have to leave half inch or more than half maybe 0 0.75 or one inch before you sew the belt because of the peplum that i'm going to join to heat so after folding it like this just fold it a little bit like this then place it like this make sure that half inch is at the bottom here for the peplum so you now place it like this place it like this hope you can see what i'm doing very well place it like this so you know 
place the lining on top it like this then I'll go and sew it I'll come and show now I want to shape my top so to get the shaping of my top I'm going to use the back part you know while I'm cutting I left three inches on this side three inches on this side for the for seam and that allowance so I've used on this side I've used one inch for the dart so one minus I mean three minus one inch that is two inches so I've used I've used half to do attach the line into it the remaining one will be 1.5 so on this side now I'll measure 1.5 which I've already measured and on this side too, I'll measure 1.5 so on the hand pit, my bust is, you know, on the waist, let's I forget, on the waist, my bust, is, I mean, my waist is 34, divided by 4 by 2, I will now divide it by 2, that will give me 17, so, if I measure this one now, make sure it gives you the half of your waist, because half of my waist is 17, and this is 17 now, so on the hand pit, which is my chest line now, you know, <clears throat> I did not I, I did not make any dart here. So that three inches I'll just deduct half 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 inch which I used to which I used to attach both lining and the fabric together. I'll just deduct it from that three inches. That will give me 2.5. 2.5. I'll now measure 2.5 out here now. But to make it easy for me. To make it not be too tight, I can make it too. That half, that half inch will be, will be my ease. So two inches here now. So I'll now join the. I'll join the door, the marking with a straight line like this. Join it with a straight line like this. So, to sew it now, I'll turn it and place my front on that back. <coughs> this belt will be like this. It will be inside like this. So, I'll place it like this. Pin it down for it not to be shaken. So the second one, do the same on the second one, on the second side. But make sure the bed is very well placed for it not to give you a problem when you finish it. So place it like this. Pin it down, attach it with the pin. So, to avoid mistakes, you can fold your belt like this and attach. It's a pin. Pin all of it together like this. That's it. Here's it. I will easily go to my mansion now. So this place. Let me explain once again. To get your measurements right, make sure you get half of your waist on the waistline and here you get half of your bust measurements on the bust on the chest line. You will now join it together and you can sew it on your machine.
So I'll come and show you when I finish joining it. Now I've finished sewing the both sides of it. So and I've removed all the pain. Let me show you how it looks like before going to the peplum. Here is it. Here is the back and the front will be on top of it like this. So here is the inner belt. So we we'll just do it like this, tie it up. This one will be tied up like this. Now you will now place this like this. So this is a side belt and this top one and you now do it like this. So let's put this aside. Go down to the peplum. Here is the peplum. I cut only one peplum for it, full circle, full circle flare for it. So this is my right side. I will now place my lining on the right side of the fabric like this. I will go and sew it at the bottom here. From here now. I'll go and sew it from here round down to the other side. But for it to be very well placed, make sure you get the center. The center at the bottom here. Get the center of the fabric. So that's a trick to sew the lining and the fabric together for the flare for it to be placed very well so notch the center like this and you do the same thing on the lining notch the center so after notching the center here is it notch the center so you now place the lining, I mean the lining on top of the fabric, the right side. Let the notch match each other. Then you start, you can pin it down, straight down, or you start your sewing from the center. Sew it from the center to this side, then start another sewing from the center to this side for it to be placed very well. Then while you are sewing, make sure, don't stretch the lining. Make sure you let it lose a little bit on the fabric to make it accurate and placed very well. I'll come and show you when I finish sewing it. Now, I've sewed the lining to the fabric. Here is it. So I'll now notch it round like this. I'll notch it, I'll notch it at the bottom like this all round with quarter of an inch. Don't let it touch the sewing. Notch it round. After the notching, I'll, I'll now open it up like this. Open it up and high on it very well. Yes, it have notched it round before high on it. I'll go and top stitch it like this from here. From this edge to the second edge before ironing. Now I've ironed my peplum. I've ironed it. So I'll now go to this place. This is the side of it. I'll open it up, place it on each other. I'll place the lining on the right side of the fabric, close this side up. I'll do the same thing on the second side of this peplum. I'll come and show you when I finish. Now I've closed up the both side of the peplum. But make sure you always trim all the excess fabric and thread to make your work neat. So I'll turn it on the right side. Turn it on the right side before joining it to the upper part. 
Yes, yeah, the upper part. So I will now join my peplum to the body of my top. To the, uh, I will join the peplum to the upper part of my plot of my top. So the first method to make it accurate, you find the center of your peplum, which I've already notched, and the center of the top. Fold it like this. Find the center. So here is the center. I've already notched it. So you now open it up like this. Take your peplum. The notching center. Make the notch of the peplum. Place it on the notch of the top or the, of the upper part like this. So I'll now sew it from here to this place. Let me trim the. So I will now pin it. So I'll make the center. I've placed it on each other. I'll now pin it. Pin it all around. So when you get the, to this side, this side that is there, that is there is ex excess fabric there. We just shift it like this, shift it up like this. This one to shift it like this because I don't want to sew on it. Because if I sew on it, it will affect the finishing of my top. So. I'll now place it like this. Pin it. Make sure you don't sew like this. Shift it like this. Make this one shift like this. Then you now sew through this place. Don't sew like this. It will affect the finishing of your job. So pin it all through. So, so I'll finish it up and I'll go and sew it. I'll do the same thing on this side too. So, open it up like this, shift it like this, shift it like this. You can even fold it like this. But because of the belt, I may not fold it like that to make it shift from this place where you want to sew it because if you sew straight like this if you sew on top this like this it will affect your the finishing of your job so i finished joining the peplum to the upper part here is the look now finish joining it here is the inner belt Here's the inner belt. Just style it up like this. So the outside belt, which is the big belt, I just fold it again like this. So you now tie it like this. So that's it. Let's move on to the to the sleeve. So you know I said this in my previous video. I said I'm going to attach the stylish bell sleeve to it. And for that I need basic sleeve and the circle full circle. So here now. Here is my basic sleeve. Here is the lining. But note, you know, cutting of the front armhole is different from the back. Make sure you place your lining accurately to make it 
accurate because if you if you place the front ham hole of the lining on the back ham hole it won't be accurate so note it make sure you place it very well so here is it I'm placing the lining on the wrong on the right side of the fabric here is the front ham hole and here is the back ham hole note that so now I'll now go and sew it here from here now from here now to this place with half inch so for the circle I'm not going to use lining for the circle here is the place where I'm, where I'm going to use to join it with the basic sleeve so for this circle now I'm going to finish it up with bias tape I'll just take this bias tape open it up like this fold it in with half inch then I'll place it on the right side of the fabric sew it around I'll come and show you when I finish sewing it now I've attached the lining to the fabric to the basic sleeve so I'll turn it to the other side here is it give it nice press so after ironing I'll just fold it like this after ironing it I'll fold it like this so because I want to I want to join join the both sides together here now from this center I'll measure the half of my round sleeve my round sleeve is 12 I'll measure 6 and mark so here now I'll measure half of my round ham hole my round ham hole is 18 half of it is 9 I'll measure 9 here now so I'll mark it and I'll roll it I'll connect it straight like this you can use your free hand or you use your ruler the circle that I'm going to join to the basic sleeve I've attached the land the bias to finish it up at the edge here so I've sewed it round I'll now fold it like this fold it in like this top stitch it round now I've stitched the side of the sleeve I've stitched it from here to here now I've stitched it always trim all the excess thread and the fabric now to join the flare to heat notch the center like this here so I'll now turn it to the right side So oh, here is it. Here is it now. Here is the basic sleeve. Finishing of it. I've not here now. So to join this, you know, this place is longer than this place, than this side. So to get the center of it, just fold it like this. This one too, I've, I've finished it up with bias tape. Make sure you get the center of this circle. Place it, fold it very well. Make the longer side, place, the, place it on the longer side. And the shorter side, place it on the shorter side. So here are the centers. So you notch this side and notch this side too to indicate the shorter the shorter side. Now 
So the shorter side will now be placed on this side. We place it on this side. So it will now be like this. So open it up. The notch side. Place it on the notch side of this place. So make the right side face each other. Let it face each other. Don't make a mistake. Let me explain again. Here is the basic sleeve. You know, here is my arm hole. And here is my round sleeve. This place will fall on my shoulder. This place. So, you now trace it down. This is where you will attach the shorter side. Place it like this. Let the right side of the fabric face each other. You know, I've already notched the basic sleeve and I've already not notch the center of the circle too so let's the this notch notch center of the circle at the longer longer side face this place too you will now sew it round you can pin it first to make it accurate let me go and sew it and show you how it look like now I've finished joining the flare to the basic sleeve. I've completed the sleeve. I've done the same thing on the second sleeve. So I'll now turn it to the right side now. Here is it. Let me show you how it looks like before joining it to the body. Then make sure you overlock all the necessary area. Here is it. Here is the shape now. Here is it. The sleeve. How it looks like. See. Here is the shoulder area now. As you can see. The flare here is shorter. Than the happy armpit area. As you can see now. See. that This is what makes it stylish that's why i call it stylish belt sleeve now before joining it to the body let me show you where to overlock because you have to overlock all the necessary area here now where i join this flare to the basic sleeve you will join it you will overlock it round first of all trim all the excess fabric and thread then overlock it then on the body too here you will overlock here just make sure you overlock all the necessary area for for it to make it neat your job will be very neat very well if you overlock the nexus free area overlock all this place where i join the flare to the upper part of the top overlock it so to join the sleeve to the body now let me show you how to join the sleeve to the body turn it to the let me first of all place it on each other like this before join before turning it to the wrong side because i want you i want you to understand how to join the sleeve to the body very well because it's a bit technical so so this side too So now I'll turn it to the wrong side because I want to join the sleeve to the body. Here is the front. Here is the front. So to join the sleeve to the body, make sure you get it right because you can make a mistake. Nobody is above mistake. For it, for you not to make mistake by joining 
the sleeve. You just you turn your sleeve to to the wrong side. So make sure because cutting of the front armhole is different from the back armhole. Make sure the front this is the front armhole of the sleeve. Place it like this and this too. Turn it to the wrong side. Place it like this. Make sure you get it right before joining because you can make a mistake. Nobody is above mistake. So make sure you place it first before joining. You now pin it to the body like this. Let me show you. This one for this and this one for this. So on the armpit here, fold it like this, place it like this. Fold it like this, place it like this. Here, on the armpit, the excess that is inside, fold it like this and place it here to fold it and place like this. So you now take your sleeve, make sure the wrong side face, I mean, make sure the right side face the right side. On the armpit here, fold it, place it, fold it, place it. You now place it on each other like this. Start your sewing from the armpit, round back to the armpit. You do the same thing on the second sleeve. So when I finish sewing, I'll come and show you. I've finished sewing both sleeves to the body. Let me turn it to the right side to look, to check how it will look like. Don't forget to overlock all the necessary area to make your job neat, not. So here is it. I'll now give it nice pressing or high on it very well to make it beautiful very well. So here is it. Here is it. Here is the sleeve. As a sleeve. See the beautiful wrap the plum top. That's just it on how to sew so the wrap the plum top with stylish bell sleeve. If you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up, share my video, subscribe to my channel to support my channel. If you have any question, do hesitate to ask. I'm there for you to answer your questions. Bye for now. See you on my next video. Thanks.